It's been an amazing festival for Buckinghamshire Freemasons, with so much being done by so many to raise money for the Masonic Charitable Foundation. From sponsored long distance canoe paddles, zip line challenges and beer festivals, to Elvis and Bollywood extravaganza nights, Buckinghamshire Freemasons have done it all in the name of charity and fun. The COVID pandemic gave us two years of challenges and put us back, but Buckinghamshire Freemasons did what Buckinghamshire Freemasons do. We buckled down and went again and again and have delivered an amazing result. In 2016, Buckinghamshire was the first province to be selected to undertake a five-year festival for the newly formed Masonic Charitable Foundation, which brought the four main charities under one roof. We were delighted to be given this opportunity and threw ourselves headlong into the challenge. The festival has been so successful for us and not in just raising money. The multitude of crazy ideas and extraordinary events you have undertaken when shared on social media encourage so many people to want to join our organisation. It's been great fun and has created a wonderful buzz. In February 2020, with the advent of COVID, we thought things would be quieter. But in fact, under the leadership of Phil Blacklaw, we were the first province to start working for those in need in Buckinghamshire with our own feet on the ground. In March 2020, United Grand Lodge of England set up a working group and delivered a much larger campaign, which I was fortunate to be part of and which resulted in over three million pounds being donated across the country to very worthy and distinguished causes. This gave us more superb publicity and even more membership inquiries. I would like to thank all the lodges that took part in the 30 initiations in seven days event. It took a lot of planning and was received so very well by you all. I would also like to thank Simon Williams, Jack Clark and Matt Eaton for taking part in the Kayakathon with me, 26 miles in seven and a half hours, and for the many Sundays given in training, and every one of you that has helped to deliver this result for the festival. I'm incredibly proud of my husband John and all the members of the province of Buckinghamshire for the wonderful work they did in raising money for the 2021 festival. I've been lucky enough to visit many of the challenges and events in the festival fortnight and the things guys have undertaken at times seemed a little crazy and in some cases quite dangerous. I've also made many new friends in some of the partners of the guys that have joined in the last year. I'm very proud of all the wonderful work that's been done in our charity of Buckinghamshire. We really have had a great time. It's taken me two years to recover from abseiling down that lift tower. <laughs> Never again. This year I took part in the zip wire in Wales, the swimathon, and the cooking. All much more down to earth and less risky. But what it has shown me is how all of these events have been bringing us together and rallying support to enable the MCF to meet its day-to-day -day challenges. The results speak for themselves. But I, for one, I'm never doing that abseil again. Think again! I'm actually a relatively new Freemason. I joined Masonry at the start of the festival in 2020, and this year I've been very happy to organise a festival event called the Swimathon. This had 13 swimmers and a couple of supporters, all of which I would love to thank. Uh, I'm really pleased to announce we raised £6,214, 36 pence, including gift aid. With this, I would hope to inspire younger Masons into getting involved at an earlier stage in their Masonic careers and helping to raise money at brilliant events like this for the Masonic Charitable Foundation. As an assistant provincial Grand Master, this festival has offered me some wonderful privileges. I've been able to paddle 26 miles down the Thames with the Provincial Grand Master, complete the longest zip wire in Europe with the Deputy Provincial Grand Master, and in July I presented the prizes at a wonderful golf day. Some fantastic memories of a fantastic festival. What an amazing couple of years we've had. We've had more membership inquiries during this festival than we've ever had before. 
And what we found very refreshing is the quality and the enthusiasm of these new members. And the great thing is, it's not just them. Their wives and families have really embraced Freemasonry as well. The future of Freemasonry in Buckinghamshire has never looked brighter. It's been a great privilege to have been part of this festival fundraising six years. But it's also important to remember that we've never forgotten the very worthy causes that need our help and attention. And it's not just about giving money. We give so much of our own time in respect of looking after people that need our help. And all these little bits and pieces that we do add up to a far bigger picture that we can rightly be so proud of. We all know how close the craft and the Royal Arch work together. That certainly is the case within Buckinghamshire. We are joined at the hip. Over the past eight years, chapters have been donating money, holding events, making sure they did their duty. Last year, I actually joked to the meeting, wouldn't it be great if we raised 100,000 pounds? Well, I'm delighted to tell you today that we've achieved that £100,000 donation towards the festival and to help so many of our own members and charities. Good job, everybody. Good job. As you have seen in this film, Buckinghamshire really is a superb province. With outstanding members, it is a privilege to be Provincial Grand Master of any province but it is really a gift to be Provincial Grand Master of Buckinghamshire, where we have so many outstanding individuals. Thank you all for coming today and for everything you've done in the last five years. Have a great night and a great summer. Remember, New Year's Day in Buckinghamshire is the 1st of September. What's next?